Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, very nice. Okay, I'm glad to hear you again, Irma. Okay, today uh, we are we're still waiting for the rest, but today we are going to finish with uh, section four finally. Finalmente hoy vamos a terminar con la sección cuatro. Uh, if you have any question about section four or the platform, please ask me, okay? Try to finish section five. Traten de, de terminar la sección cinco porque ya casi terminamos, ¿verdad? Esta sería eh, la última semana y después la próxima semana solo tenemos lunes y martes. Así que ahí sí, ya, ya, ya. Ajá. estoy en la sección cinco. Ya voy casi okay. terminando. Ok, perfect. No problems. No hay problemas todavía, ¿verdad? Ahí. Ok, very good. So, if you have any problem, let me know. Y también el final exam, ¿verdad? Ese también va a contar para que lo terminen. Tienen que haberlo terminado. Very good. So, uh, today we're going to have a, a, a small review about grammar, right? About the conditional Yesterday we were talking about the present con the first conditional, right? La primera condicional. Uh, do you remember what was this about? ¿Se acuerda de qué era la primera condicional? ¿Para qué la usábamos? Ay, no sé qué. Hay unas que no las alcanzé a copiar y en otras no, no, no recuerdo. <risa> ok, ok. Y, Ok, ok. Uh, so the first conditional la ocupamos para eh, una, una condición, ¿verdad? A condition, por eso se llaman conditionals, una condición de algo que va a suceder o de algo que creemos que puede suceder, ¿verdad? Y los usamos para diferentes cosas, ¿verdad? La first conditional. So the first conditional, there is uh, two, two uh, clauses, right? Tenemos dos cláusulas, la cláusula dependiente y la independiente, ¿verdad? Okay, and welcome everybody, welcome. We will do a little review about, about the first conditional. Thank you for being here, Tanya, Kimberly. And uh, let's see here. Remember to finish the platform. That's all that we need to do for this week. And then you will have your diploma for this module. So we were talking about the first conditional. The first conditional, we use it for a situation that is probable in the future, right? A very probable situation in the future. Lo ocupamos para situaciones probables. Para cosas que posiblemente vayan a pasar. O como pueden ver, la podemos ocupar para diferentes situaciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, hablábamos de dos tipos de, de cláusulas o de oraciones dependientes e independientes, ¿verdad? Entonces, está la, la, la if clause, la que va con if. Esa siempre va a ir en presente, decíamos. Y la otra, que es el resultado de la condición, va a ir en futuro, ¿verdad? Con will. Future simple. If we work hard, si nosotros trabajamos duro, We will finish the project on time. Terminaremos el proyecto a tiempo. Entonces, si hacemos esto, pasará esto, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que quiere decir la primera condicional. And we checked a lot of examples, ¿verdad? Vimos bastantes, um, how do you say this? Examples, yes, actually, a lot of sentences, actually. And we checked the sentences in, in negative and in affirmative wave. Right, if I don't feel well tomorrow, I won't go to work. Si no me siento bien mañana, no voy a ir al trabajo, ¿verdad? Y así. Y alguien por ahí nos preguntaba de la coma, ¿verdad? Si siempre se le pone coma o si no se le pone coma, ¿verdad? Se le pone coma cuando va al principio la if. Por, por ejemplo, esta, for example, this. If it rains tomorrow, coma, we will stay home. Si la condición va al principio, entonces, si se le pone la coma después de la, del if, ¿verdad? If it rains tomorrow, coma, el resultado después, va después de la coma. Pero también se puede poner al revés. 
el resultado primero y después la condición, la, lo que va a la oración con if, y ahí ya no se le pone coma. Por ejemplo, we will stay home if it rains tomorrow. Nos quedaremos en casa si llueve mañana. O la, la opuesta, la, la primera, ¿verdad? Si llueve mañana, nos quedaremos en casa. Y ahí sí lleva coma. So be careful with that. Cuidado ahí cómo utilizan las if clauses. Si la utilizan de la if primero o la if después, ¿verdad? So remember that is a condition. Y esto se usa para planear cosas, posibles planes, para promesas, para advertencias, para amenazas, ¿verdad? Y también para persuadir. Para posibles planes, ¿cómo sería la, uh, un posible plan? Por ejemplo, if I go to Italy next week for work, I'll visit the Colosseum. That is a possible plan. Ese es un posible plan. plan. Una promesa, ¿cuál sería? Por ejemplo, if I have time tomorrow, I will help you. I promise, lo prometo, ¿verdad? Que yo, si tengo tiempo mañana, le ayudaré. Warnings. Eh, warnings es advertencia, ¿verdad? Warnings. If you touch that wire, you will get an electric shock. Si tocas ese cable, te vas a electrificar. Para amenazas. If you eat my chocolate, you'll sleep outside with the dog. Si te comes mi chocolate, dormirás afuera con el perro. Esa es una amenaza, ¿verdad? O persuasión, para persuadir, ¿verdad? Persuading. If you drive us to the concert, I'll pay for the parking. Si nos llevas al concierto, ¿verdad? Por, en el auto, en el carro, pagaré el parqueo. Pagaré por el parqueo. So, per, persuadiendo también. If you drive us to the concert, I'll pay for the parking. You see? So we can use it in different contexts, right? Possible plans, promises, warning, threats, persuading, etc. And we did some examples yesterday, right? So let's see here. Just to check, right? That, that's what we did yesterday. Eso es lo que hicimos ayer. So the first conditional is used to express a possible action in the present with a consequence in the future. Tanya, can you read the sentences, please, Tanya? Okay. Is your work hard? You might buy your own house. Mm -hmm. If you don't see quickly, you'll array the lay of school. Mm -hmm. If you eat all the pizza, you are going to get a stomach. Very good. You're going to get a stomach. If you eat all that pizza, you are going to get a stomach cake. Very good. ¿Cuál es la condición, Tania? <laughs> What is the condition there, Tanya? If. The if, right? If you work if hard. You. Uh -huh. If you. Uh -huh. La parte que está en roja, ¿verdad? Y la parte que está en verde, ¿qué es eso? Consequence. The consequence, exactly. So the if is the condition and the green part is the consequence. Consecuencia. Very good. Perfect. And we have here, right, this, um, this is like the formula, right? Possible situation, la posible situación, if, right? If plus subject plus the verb in present plus complement. Y esta es la consecuencia. Subject plus will, may or might, porque podemos utilizar may or might también, plus verb plus complement. Let's see, Kimberly, can you read the sentences, please? The one in the white square. If then, you, uh -huh. uh, in the first one square. Yes, in the white one, in el que está en el blanco. Okay. If you don't study for the test, you might not pass the card. If people commit a crime, they will go to prison. If you go to the gym, you may get healthy and strong. If you have a baby, you may wake up late at night. Okay, very good. So first we have the possible situation and then we have the consequence, right, Kimberly? 
can we do the opposite? Yeah. Can I write first the consequence and then the possible situation, the if? Yes or uh, no? The sec can you repeat again, please? Yes. Uh, can can I do? Can I uh switch? Puedo cambiar la el el orden de la oración. Primero puedo escribir la consecuencia y después las la posible la la posibilidad lo que va con if. Yeah. Yes, yes, right. And what is the It's difference? Possible. What is the difference? What is qué es lo que no le ponemos cuando la cambiamos? The comma. The comma. Very good. Very good. So, in, in the cuadro negro, pueden ver ustedes que ahí van sin la coma, ¿verdad? Uh, Marvin, can you read the sentences in the black square, in the cuadro negro? Okay. Okay. You might not pass the course if you don't study for the test. People will go to prison if they commit a crime. A crime. You may feel healthier and stronger if you go to the gym. Mm -hmm. You make a wake up later, late at night if you have a baby. Very good. If you may, you may wake up late at night if you have a baby. Very good. So first is the consequence. Primero ahí van las consecuencias. Después van las condiciones, ¿verdad? Y no se le escribe coma si el if va de último. Very good. Do you have any question about this? Uh, acerca de la primera condicional. Questions? Everything's clear? Is the clear. Clear as our chat, all right. Very good. So uh, let's see here. Well, we have written first conditionals uh, sentences already. For example, if you arrive late, they will mate or they will wait for you, right? Uh, or they might wait for you. So um, we are going to write more sentences. But first we are going to, uh, let me see here. This is some vocabulary related to this uh, unit about this section. Este es vocabulario acerca de esta sección. For example, earn. Vamos a repasar vocabulario. What, what is the meaning of earn? ¿Qué significa earn? Ganar is... dinero. Ganar, exactly, ganar. But not only earn uh, money, right? We can earn a degree, ganarnos un título, ¿verdad? Earn a degree, earn money, earn your own money, or earn a living, ¿verdad? Ganarse la vida. Earn a living. Very good. That is the meaning of earn. Ganar. Ganar dinero. Earn money. Very good. Get. What is the meaning of get? What is the meaning of get? Obtener. Obtener. Exactly. So we can get in shape. Ponernos en forma es get in shape. Podemos... Get into college, entrar a un college, ¿verdad? Get work experience, ahí sí sería obtener experiencia laboral. Get work experience, or we can get tired. Nos podemos cansar, ¿verdad? Get tired. So, let's see. Join. What is the meaning of join? Como disfrutar. Uh, that is enjoy, enjoy, E-N-J-O-Y. Oh. But join? Unirse. Unirse, unirse. Enjoy, disfrutar, join, unirse. We can join a club. Podemos unirnos a un, a un club. We can join a group. Un grupo, ¿verdad? We can join a, a gym. Join a gym. Very good. And we have span. What is the meaning of span? Ahorrar. Ah, uh, ahorrar is the opposite again. Uh -huh. Ahorrar the opposite. Say, ahorrar, span, gastar, ¿verdad? Gastar. We can spend money, uh, spend, uh, gastar dinero. We can spend energy, gastar energía. And we can spend time. In Spanish, in Spanish, uh, decimos 
pasar el tiempo, ¿verdad? Eh, nosotros, o me hiciste, yes, pa, es como pasar el tiempo, pero en, 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 en English, they say spend time, como gastar el tiempo también, porque para ellos el tiempo es dinero, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's the reason why they say also waste, waste my time, right? Waste my time, spend time. So, that's the reason. Feel. What is the meaning of feel? Sentir. Sentir. And you can feel jealous. Se puede sentir celoso, jealous. You can feel stressed, estresado stressed out or tired right we can feel tired very good and we already checked this right what is an if clause what is the first conditional when can i use the first conditional and we can we are going to provide examples for the first conditional in negative perfect so this is a a, a little review okay about the first conditional the if clause plus the if plus simple present, right? Remember that we can use will, may, or might for this. Remember that the if clause is the condition, la condición, y lo que lleva el futuro es la consequence, right? Examples, if you get a job, you'll earn money. Very probable, right? If you graduate from university, you'll be able to apply for more jobs. If you want to buy this TV, you'll have to pay $50, right? You'll have to pay $500, $500. That is a necessity or an obligation, right? Probably. If you go to Europe in winter, you might see snow. That is a possibility, right? Maybe 50%, right? So you, that's why sometimes we use may or might. Por eso a veces utilizamos may or might. Porque puede ser una posibilidad. If you get your driver's license, right, you will you'll have to buy a car or you'll be able to buy a car, right? So, let's see. En esta oración, ¿cuál sería la consecuencia? If you get your driver's license, you'll have to buy a car or you'll be able to buy a car. Yes, you will be able, right? You'll be able to buy a car, exactly. So you'll be able to buy a car. You don't have to buy a car, right? But you will be able because you will be able to drive. In this one, if you call 911, what is the, the condition? What is the, the result? ¿Cuál va a ser el resultado de esa condición? La consecuencia. They may think it's an emergency. They'll think it's an emergency. They may think. They will think. They will think. Okay, let's see. They'll think, right? They'll think. That is very probable. Very probable. So we use will cuando es muy probable algo, right? They may think it's an emergency. No, because when you call 911, cuando alguien recibe una llamada del 911 es... Una emergencia, muy probable, ¿verdad? Or a prank. Or a prank, una, una broma, right? Very good. Now, I think that we watch this video already, right? Este video ya lo miramos, ¿verdad? The transportation. Yes. Okay, so what we are going to do right now is uh, practice this conversation, okay? We are going to make plans. And plans can be very probable sometimes, very probable, so we can use will, or sometimes uh, they can be 50% right chance, so sometimes. So let me see here, are you able to read this conversation? Pueden leer esta conversación? I'm sorry for delay, teacher. Okay, no worries, Elida. Thank you for being here. Okay. So right now we are going to read this conversation. Vamos a leer esta conversación. Uh, are you able to read it? ¿La, la, la alcanzan a ver? Um, yeah, I can see it. Okay. okay. Very good. So uh, I will read it first and then you will practice it, okay? Uh, we'll, okay, teacher. I will get two volunteers. The first one is Olivia and the second one is Jake. 
and it says, I'm really looking forward to the barbecue this weekend. Me too. I'll get some steaks if you like. Oh, that sounds good. And I'll bring some salad and stuff. Will you bring some chairs? Oh, and remind me to bring my beach umbrella. All right. And I won't forget the drinks this time either. Good. Uh, do you want me to drive? No, I'll drive. You can't afford any more speeding tickets. Okay. They make sure you go to the gas station before you pick me up. We don't want to run out of gas again. All right. I will. But hey, we only run out of gas that one time. So what is this conversation about? ¿De qué se trata esta conversación? It says, making offers and promises. Haciendo ofertas y promesas. What are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? They are planning a trip, right? They are planning a trip, right? They are going to buy steaks, filetes, right? Uh, they are going to do a barbecue, una barbacoa, this weekend. They are going to bring salad, ensalada, chairs, sillas, beach umbrella, una sombría de playa, beach umbrella, drinks, right? Tragos. Y eh, uno no puede manejar porque tiene speeding tickets, right? Tickets o multas de velocidad, ¿verdad? Y eh, también dicen que una vez se quedaron run out of gas. What is the meaning of run out or run out? ¿Qué significa run out? Terminar. Se les terminó, exacto. Se les terminó la gasolina, exactly. So se quedaron parados, ¿verdad? Very good. So what I want you to do right now is just to create a similar conversation. Vamos a crear una conversación similar, ¿verdad? Uh, we are going to plan something. We are going to plan a trip to the beach, to the mountain, to another country, to, I don't know, to the museum, anywhere you want. Vamos a planear un viaje a donde ustedes quieran, ¿verdad? Uh, you decide. But instead, uh, we are going to use will and going to, and maybe, right, and may, perhaps, might, but I want you to include the conditionals. Quiero que incluyan las condicionales, the first conditional. For example, if we go to the beach, you will bring sandwiches, let's say, right? Si, si, se las voy a escribir para que, para que miren. Where should I, here? For example, uh, si empezamos a escribir, ¿verdad? So if if we go to the beach, go to the beach, we will bring sunscreen. Sunscreen, bloqueador de sol, ¿verdad? Si vamos a la playa, traeremos bloqueador de sol, right? So if, right, the if clause. If. And will, right? También podemos usar may or might, right? If we go to the mountain, um, we will, or you will, you will drive. You will drive. Because driving is tiring, right? You get tired when you drive. So, si vamos a la montaña, tú vas a conducir. Tú conducirás. Or, you might drive. You, we can use might, right? Might. So, we have the if clause here. And we have might here. Can we do the opposite? Uh, podemos también ponerlos al revés. Como ya aprendimos a ponerlas al revés, podemos utilizarlo, ¿verdad? If... We go to Germany. We will have, or sorry, 
So we will have, so, yeah, we will write like that. We will have to speak German. So, entre la conversación, quiero que me incluyan oraciones así, ¿verdad? Or, we will have to speak German. If we go to Germany. Como ya aprendimos a, a que se puede utilizar primero la consecuencia y después la condición, entonces también podemos uh, escribirlo así, ¿verdad? Ok, so we are going to, uh, I will paste this conversation in the group. Voy a pegar esta conversación en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y ahí, o oh, creo que ya, ya se las pegué, ¿verdad? Yesterday. The, I guess I did, I did yesterday. Intermediate three, let me see here. Yes, yes. Yes, right. Okay, perfect. So you already have the example. You can, this is an example, but I want you to create your own conversation. Quiero que creen su propia conversación. And like this long, uh, something like this, así de larga, más o menos. And you have to include the first conditional, okay? I will give you around 10 or 15 minutes, and then we are going to, to check your pronunciation, your uh, your vocabulary, and also your the grammar, right? La gramática. And also, if you want to, you can include these words, right, that we just learned. Span, feel, join, and earn. If you want to, it's not an obligation. Okay, do you have any question? Preguntas? No questions? Okay, perfect. So I think that everybody understood everything. So we are going to create the group. So we are six, so we will have three groups, I guess. Okay, and we are going to start right now. You have around 10 to 15 minutes, okay? Join the rooms, please. Join. Irving, can you speak? Are you able to use your cell phone, Irving? Irving Grande? No? Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> okay, so we are going to move Tanya with... Um, Irma. For example, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Okay. So I think that Irving was not able to join for some reason. So you are going to work, uh, the three of you, right? Going to work together. Los tres van a hacer la conversación. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Bueno, entonces, empezamos con el salud. Hello. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can go to the beach. Uh, bam, bam. We can go to the beach in Saturday. We can, this is. Mm -hmm. We can go to the beach in Saturday. Mm -hmm. We can and eight fish. Uh, the comer eight fish. Uh-huh. 
Remember, we have to return on Sunday. Disculpe, pero es como una conversación. De, deberíamos de elegir un, un tema de lo que se va a hablar. Así entendí yo. Porque yes, si correct. Nos vamos a así. Exactly. <laughs> me, me perdí. <laughs> yeah. It's a conversation. Es una conversación. Ustedes van a planear un viaje. Digamos, vamos ah. a ir al lago de Coatepeque, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Mm, va, entonces, okay. Tania va a traer la coca. La Coca-Cola, mm. ¿verdad? Marvin va a traer los sándwiches. Irma va a traer... Eh, no sé eh, un pan dulce uh -huh. un pan dulce entonces ustedes van a empezar a, a empezar a, a, a planear el viaje vamos a ir a esta hora vamos a, a regresar a esta hora vamos a ir en carro pero si vamos en carro qué va a pasar verdad pero si vamos a esa hora vamos a llegar a tiempo o no vamos a llegar a tiempo y ahí es donde uh -huh. van a incluir la if clauses la if clause por ejemplo uh -huh. if we if we bring food We won't buy anything there. Si llevamos comida, no vamos a comprar nada ya, ¿verdad? O si nos vamos temprano, vamos a regresar temprano. If we go early, we will return early. Ahí van a, a incluir en la conversación, pero es de planear un viaje. Ah, sí. Ok, perfecto. Let's work together. Work together as a group, ok? Very good. Ok. Va, entonces. Pero siempre vamos a ir a la playa.
um, pay rent, no, to rent. Yeah, rent. Oh, yes, you're right. A rent and um, um, like a, I don't know how it's the name. Um, let me check. Um, r um, road. You know. What is the meaning of that? Uh, rope. 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 It is like a rope. When can you get and you can um, uh, for the put in in the tent. Oh well, it is like a cuerda, cuerda, soga, cuerda. Yeah, a rope. Ah yes, yes, I get it. Okay, 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 okay. So we had to buy. A rope for a girl to the mountain, and if we yes. will go to the mountain, we had to start the travel in the morning. I think. Yes, and also if we if we no if we want to get a uh, coal to get coal, we have to make a fire. Yeah, we had to make a fire and we had to, uh, we had to use our sweaters. I don't know, because it could be cold during the mountain. Yes. Uh, yeah. are, are you excited <laughs> to travel to the mountain with me? Yes, I'm excited. So, yeah, we are like the best friends traveling for the mountain and we can, we can. If we will go to the mountain together, we, we can sing in the mountain too. Um, yes. I will get my guitar with me. And we we can do a karaoke. Yeah, we can. Hello, Bessie. How are you? Hola. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Bessie? Yeah. Finally, right? <laughs> hasta ahora he podido, qué barbaridad. Yes, I can see Siento. that. Okay, right now, let's see. Uh, en este momento están haciendo una conversación. Mm -hmm. No sé si se quiere unir a uno de los grupos para nada más ver mm -hmm. y practicar un poco. Es una conversación de planear un viaje, ¿verdad? A la playa o a la montaña, al Cerro Verde. Y, uh, do you want to join mm -hmm. a group? Yes, yes, yes. Yes? Okay. Okay, very good. So, I will join you right now. Let's see okay. here. The mountain? Yeah. Yes, that sounds amazing. So, really nice. So, we are in the main or we are in another? No. No. Sorry, uh, I will. I, I need to assign someone else. I need to assign Bessie. Uh, okay, Bessie. okay. Okay. So I, I please help her. Yeah, of course. Uh, she yes, wants to no practice problem. right now. Okay. Uh, help her okay, with, sure. with the conversation, please. I guess uh, okay. she will connect right now. Okay. Okay. So okay. We can um make both dialogues at the same time. It is going to be so also like uh hello Kimberly, hello big big C, how is going on? And, and you say like oh, I have my plans for go to the mountain. Um and I'm so excited, blah 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 blah. He basically oh no, I'm thinking going and I will go to the beach. You know, like uh, come on, bro, what's happening? You go to the beach, yeah, something like that. <laughs> sí, porque, o sea, mm -hmm. it has to be a different kind of conversation. It's like, a, vamos a tener que cambiar y darnos recomendaciones. Por ejemplo, oh, you go to the mountain, you have to buy a tent. Did you buy the tent? And, for example, oh, mm -hmm. you go to the beach, you have to uh, get some screen with you or something like that. Mm -hmm. And at the end, it's the best. It's like, a, oh, no, no, no. We can go to the lake together, and Irvin? then we can. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Uh, Irvin, are you here? Irvin. 
Can you hear me, Irene? I think that is not is no 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 no. Irving, can you hear me? Irving? We cannot for hear you. Reason, <laughs> for, you <laughs> for quality reasons. It's nobody answer to the call. I go call off the the call right now. I have to yes, Irving. Hello. So you cannot use your microphone, right, Irving? It seems that you are not able to. Yeah. Bueno, al menos yo entendí lo de cuál es la razón, sí. Yeah. I'm going to disconnect the call. Okay, let me see. Busy, uh, Bessie, I don't know why is it has, she hasn't connected here. Voy a revisar en este momento. I'm okay. sorry. So, don't worry. So, in this case... Hello, Bessie. Were you able to access to the to the room? Hello, ne. me sacó, no, no me dejó. Le di a aceptar, pero no me dejó. Mm -hmm. A ver. <coughs> Se le dio a aceptar y no la dejó, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Y ahora no le sale nada. Ahora sí. Ok. Y aquí está Bessi. Bessi, hello. Hello. ¿Siempre la saca? Sí, me manda redireccionando la sesión normal, dice. Uh -huh. Okay, vamos a tratar la última vez, si no, ni modo, vamos a ver. <risa> Ve algo. A ver. ¿Ve algo ahora, Bessie? ¿Alguna opción? Estamos de acuerdo este, que va a decir cada quien para no, para no equivocarnos ahí. Sí, o sea, primero armemos la, la conversación y después vemos cómo. ¿Ya finish the conversation? Ya poquito, no falta. ¿Did you finish? Ok, un poquito. Ok, go ahead then. Traten de finalizarla, solo nos quedan cinco minutos, cuatro minutos para terminarla. Ok. Bueno. Mm, podríamos también decir if we go in my car you buy the gasolina ¿Cómo? vamos en mi carro ustedes pagan la gasolina hmm. ajá cabal vamos mm. ajá cabal vamos en mi carro you buy the like, gasolina ¿Cómo dijo que era lo último, perdón? Eh, toda la, toda sí. la razón. Si vamos en mi carro, pone, vas a para. No. Si vamos en mi carro, ustedes pagan la gasolina. If we, we go in my car, you pay gasolina o gas. 
Nada. Vaya, entonces. Um, podemos poner a qué horas regresaré. Tenemos que regresar, recuerden que tenemos que regresar a las cuatro de la tarde. Uh, remember. Retorno. Sería a las cuatro sería and four. Ah, se lo puedes uh, poner en número. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cuatro four pm. Remember that we have to return at 4 p.m. Para descansar, ¿cómo se dice? Rest. To rest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To rest. Podemos poner el because Monday we have to work. No, solo, no, no, o sea, para no hacerlo tan largo a eso. No, puedes poner eso de ahí, puedes poner para terminar ya así como, como que fuera viernes que nos encontramos. O, o puedes poner. So I will, I see on Saturday. Okay. para terminar nos vemos el sábado entonces nos vemos el sábado uh -huh. sí, sí, sí. So, sí, sí. See you Saturday. Goodbye. See you on Saturday, huh? Bye. Yo creo que hasta ahí. Vale, entonces, ¿quién va a empezar? ¿Y cómo se llama? ¿Quién, quién escribió? <risa> Yo di la idea. No, me refiero a quién, quién escribió toda la conversación, nadie. Ah, yo lo no escribí. Vaya para que quiero ver si se puede compartir aquí. Ajá, para que ahí por el chat creo que...
Okay, it's time to go back. Time to practice the conversation. If you haven't finished it, try to finish right now, okay? Okay, welcome back, everybody. Did you finish the conversation? Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. It was easy, right? Or it was difficult? Fácil or difícil? So, well, I don't have any comments. <laughs> I don't, no comments. <laughs> yeah, okay. no comments at all. <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, because uh, I heard that some of you were like trying to to plan a trip and the time and everything yeah, and, going. And, the, and, the, and the main it was like uh i can put some people here and it was like uh okay we have we have to do this 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 and this and then ah oh, no i think it is not it's not going to be and it was like uh, we have to do this 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 again and the play has been changing almost mm, three minutes every three, three, three minutes yeah and every time it was like uh, something like that <laughs> Okay, very good. But let's go and check what what happened right in the conversation. Who wants okay. to be the first group? Quién be, quién quiere ser el primer grupo? Ah, uh, okay. Kimberly, we have we can go if you want. Okay. 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 Oh, hello, Kimberly. How it's going? Oh, nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Elida. Um, I'm here. Planning my vacation. Oh, what do you have on mind for your vacation? What are you thinking about well, it? Well, I think I can go to the mountain. Oh, when are you planning to go to the mountain? On the first week of April. April, well, I think that I had my own vacations on April. The first week, really? as you mentioned before? Yes. Oh, well, so can I go with you to the mountain? It's possible. Oh, yeah, that sounds amazing. I need a car. Oh, yeah. Okay, that, that's so nice. I really, I, I'm so excited. And thank you for, for letting me go with you to the mountain. It, it's awesome. Oh, um, but the, by the way, by any chance, did you, did you buy a tent for the mountain? It is necessary. Uh, not, I forget it. I didn't buy this. Oh, uh, if we will go to the mountain together, uh, do you buy canned food? Just beans and this kind of food, you know, because we are, we, we will be very hungry in the mountain and it, there is no food there. There's only animals and I don't want to be a hunt in the mountain, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. So if we want to be, if we want to go to the mountain, we can, we go, <laughs> we might survive that, that thing. <laughs> so I do not consider that you are, you be a, you could be a hunter. Uh, <laughs> how many deers in the mountain? I know I cannot see you in, in this kind of example, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay, I will go to buy some smart melon in the in the in the in the, in the, um, in the food market if you want, mm -hmm. and we can buy many fruits for the travel. I will and call then, you um yeah. one uh week before to confirm because I I don't know if, if they. They will give me give, give me my vacation, but so I consider that we have to go to the mountain together. Okay. Yeah. And nice to see you again, and thank you for for share the that travel with me. I love you so much. <laughs> nice to see you, Elida. 
Nice to see you, Kimberly. See you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, very good, very good. Planning for going to the mountain. Okay, very good on April. Very good, yeah. perfect. <laughs> Let's see at the second group, please. El segundo grupo, por favor. Okay, Irma, Tania, and and Marvin, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Hello, guys. We can go to the beach in Saturday. Um. Hello, Irma. Uh, okay, no problem. Uh, what time are we leaving? At six, six. Six is the morning. Okay, and what we carry? Um, chicken and potatoes and salad. Okay, if we. <laughs> If we, we bring food, no bite. Uh, we go in my car, you buy the gasoline. <laughs> um, okay. For remember, uh, remember to return at four o'clock because because to rest and Monday we have to work okay see you Saturday goodbye okay bye okay that's it Okay, very good. And Tanya, just listen. <laughs> okay. I know how you do it. Oh, okay. She, she helped you with it. Okay, with the call. Okay, slow internet. Okay, very good. Perfect. So uh, tomorrow we're going to continue with section five. Finally, we finish section four. So uh, remember that I will, uh, I was going to give you a homework, but I guess that Probably tomorrow it will be better, okay? Because it's kind of late and I know that you're tired. So we're going to finish right now the class and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.